click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends in this video we will study a uh, types of constant in the previous video we have studied a data type so there are three types of data types user defined data type built in data type and derived data type in the built in data type we have integer character double now in this video we will have a look on to a built in data type number 1 is called as integer constant now integer constant are whole numbers are whole numbers means what they usually take a numbers without decimal point so whenever in the program we deal with the numbers without decimal point at that time we make a use of integer constant so we'll see what are the rules of integer constant number 1 integer constant are whole numbers number 2 they must not have decimal point for a 16 bit word length the allowable range of integer constant is minus 2 raised to 15 to plus 2 raised to 15 minus 1 that is the range of the integer constant is minus 32768 to plus 32767 now this is very important friends because this question may ask in the fill in the blank or this question may ask in the uh, in general also the range of the integer constant so the range of the integer constant is minus 32767 to plus 32767 now the size and in range of integer constant is as follows the range and size of the integer constant varies that is we have a three categories of the integer constant that is they are they can be either a short integer or they can be either a long integer or they can be either a integer so if i i am using only a integer in that case i can make a use of 16 bits if you are using for a short integer then you can make a use of 8 bit whereas if you are using a long integer then you can you make a use of 32 bits now when to use a long integer now suppose if your answer is too large of or if your number is too large to handle by integer then in that case we make a use of long integer so the long integer can handle up to a 32 bits so this was about the integer constant next we have that is real constant now real constant can be also called as float constant real constant are the numbers with decimal point so whenever in the program we deal with the numbers with decimal point at that time we make a use of real constant or you can simply call them as what floating point constant so we'll see what are the rules of constructing floating point constant they are a fractional number as i said the real numbers or the float numbers are the numbers with the decimal point so they must have a decimal point the range of the real constant is minus 3.4 into 10 raised to 38 to plus 3.4 into 10 raised to 38 means the answer can lies between this range in the case of what floating point constant if the above range is insufficient then c++ offers a double data type which can carry up to 64 bits into it so if your answer is bigger than the uh, floating point constant in that case we make a use of what double constant so we have seen what integer constant then we saw what is float constant if your answer is too large you can say in that case instead of float point we can go for double now the next is called as character constant character constants are generally a single letter or single digit or single word which is enclosed in the single quote then i can call them as what character so any single character from character set can be called as what character constant so it is either a single alphabet or single digit or single symbol but that should be enclosed in the single digit but that should be enclosed inside the single inverted commas for an example see when i write this this can be called as what character constant because now see this a is a single character which is enclosed in what single inverted commas so i can call it as what character constant but my both the commas should point to a left that is i cannot write my character constant like this this cannot be a valid character constant so anything which is enclosed basically inside the single quote is considered as what character constant and any single character from the character set which is enclosed inside the single inverted commas can be considered as what character 
constant. The maximum length of the character constant is one character. So maximum it can handle up to how many characters? It can handle one character. So this was all about integer, float and character. Integers are the numbers without decimal point. The allowable range of integer is minus 32,768 to plus 32,767. If your answer is going beyond the range of integer constant, in that case you can make a use of long integer. Then we saw what is floating point constant. Floating point constant are the numbers with decimal point and the range of the floating point constant is minus 3.4 into 10 raise to 38 to plus 3.4 into 10 raise to 38. If your answer is going beyond the range of floating point constant then in that case we can, we can make a use of double uh, data type. Then we have the character constant. Character constant means anything which is enclosed inside the anything means any single character from a character set which is enclosed inside the single inverted commas are considered as what character constant. But while uh, while enclosing them inside the single inverted commas, where both the commas should point to left. That is the so these are the rules to construct the integer constant, character constant, and float constant. I hope you have understood all these three types of constant. Thanks for watching this video.